Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of the Disney Dining Show, coming to you from the Bob Varley Studio in Orlando, Florida. I'm your host, Pete Warner, joined at the table this week by my good friends, Sean Falk. Hi. Denny Sunderly. Hi there. And back in the production nook on the switch, Mr. Corey Fiascanaro. Jumbo. And uh, welcome, folks. Hope your week is going well. couple things in housekeeping. Uh, just want to remind you that this show, along with all of the shows we produce here, on the Diz are brought to you by DreamsUnlimitedTravel.com. Uh, Dreams Unlimited Travel is a travel agency that I started back in 1999 along with my business partners, John Magi and Donna Lefevre, uh, that was designed to specifically help Disney fans plan their vacation. Uh, so we have these amazing agents, these experts at Disney vacations um, that will help you plan every aspect of your trip uh so head over to dreams unlimited travel.com and check that out they'll help you especially with dining sean sean's big on that mm-hmm, mm-hmm. uh all the agents are uh helping you navigate what some of the best choices are for uh for dining at walt disney world um and also to remind everybody that we maintain this fantastic menu database over on the Diz wdwinfo.com and uh, we have the menus from virtually every restaurant and quick service location at Walt Disney World uh, in our database, updated all the time. So you can find uh, pricing and, you know, menu descriptions and all of that. There's a certain type of dish you're looking for. You can search on that, search for certain types of restaurants. You just want to see Italian. You just want to see American. You want to see things like that. All available to search from our menu database on the Diz. And there'll be links to that right below this video on YouTube and also on uh, our show notes page, disunplugged.com. So, all right. So we are doing, um, we, we've, been, we've been putting up polls both on Facebook and on uh, disboards.com asking you to tell us what your favorite restaurants are at various places around Walt Disney World. Uh, we did. Uh, we've done uh, Epcot last week. Uh, it's going to be Animal Kingdom uh, this week, um, and this is a little bit, a uh, little bit more manageable than Epcot because there's only yeah. a handful of yeah. restaurants, table service restaurants, in Animal Kingdom. So let's start with what was rated the worst, and not hard to imagine that Pete Safari um, got a total of two votes. So it kind of gives you an idea um, uh, that, and, and, and for good reason, pizza, I, I really want to talk to the two people who thought this was the best yeah. place to eat. This was kind of like a weird include uh, to include this. Because it's not a table service in, restaurant, technically. But when I was going through Disney's uh, actual website, it included as quick service and table service. So mm-hmm. I opted to include it. Because there is an option for that there's at a dinner. dinner yeah. There's a table service dinner option there, yep. And... And they've done a chicken parm recently, like a marinara dish um, that I've heard good things about. I've not eaten it myself because when I'm in Animal Kingdom, Pizza Fire is not the place I gravitate to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I I guess maybe it's because it's a really safe bet. And I mean, typically I'll go for that safe bet, but this is even not my thing either. I'm not big on Pizza Fari, so I still recommend going anywhere else. I think it was, I think it's in a good position <laughs> and being I mean, in last. So. Well, I mean, I, last time I ate there was one of the DVC Moonlight Magic events. Yeah. And it was free and it was still terrible. Yeah. Yes. It was still it a ripoff. Was. It I, was. But I mean, it was being given out for free. For Pizza Fari. I like kind of compare it to like cafeteria style pizza and it's more of a quick service than it is a table service. And with that being said, the quick service at animal kingdom is great. So, I mean, I, I would even put it in that tier and which it is, it just has that one option. And I mean, even amongst the quick service options, I think it's still at the bottom. So that was number five, number four with six votes. Rainforest Cafe. I disagree. <laughs> he does love some yeah. Rainforest Cafe. <laughs> yeah, I. I uh, <laughs> you, you. That, it's not even the best Landry's restaurant in Animal Kingdom. Yeah, that's true. Like, yeah, I, I, mean, I prefer Yak and Yeti, and I mean, I'm I'm kind of half joking on this, but um, I will say, 
I, in the past year, I've branched out quite a bit in choosing different restaurants than my normal staples. One place that it stayed a little static, though, has been sit-downs at Animal Kingdom. Um, I have gone to Rainforest Cafe and Yak and Yeti at Animal Kingdom so many times. And, like, for example, I, I still haven't been to Tiffin's. So. It's, uh, for me, even beyond, so, like, I get it. People want to take their kids to Rainforest Cafe. I used to work at Rainforest Cafe. I was one of the servers there. So, like, it's not like I'm saying the restaurant's a, a horrible place to be or anything like that. It's great for people to take their children. It's a fantastic option to have the Landry's card. I always recommend that to everyone. Um, so, like, there are great options with what you plan to do there. But even if I was going to eat at Rainforest Cafe, I'd eat at the one at Disney Springs. I just wouldn't not eat at one of the sit-down restaurants yeah. at Animal Kingdom if I had my options there. It's one thing if I'm at Disney Springs, we've popped in, we're all like having a day there. My kids really, really, really want to go there. And it, it's hard to get some last minutes for like homecoming and stuff over there anyway. And it's an easy reservation to get. But definitely if I'm having a day at Animal Kingdom Park, never. I would See, I would save it for my Disney Springs day if it's a must do for you. In its defense, when you're going to Animal Kingdom, uh, Yak and Yeti actually does you can usually find it, but it books out actually kind of rather fast. Mm. And I've never been really drawn to the menu at Tiffin's. And then if I'm not in the mood to do a character experience, I look at it as I walk into the park and it's just like, it's so convenient. It's right there. And then there's a back door entrance, mm -hmm. which is super cool too. So a lot of times I, I know I'm like, oh, it's an animal kingdom day. I'm walking up. I'm looking at rainforest cafe. I'm like, you know what? I can mess with that right now. And then, I walk back through the now secret when, you know, I'm entrance. sorry. Not when you have Tiffin's. Not when you have uh, Tusker House. Not right. when you have Satouli Canteen well, as a quick service. Mm -hmm. You know, they're well, just... Even, even whenever I worked at the one at Disney Springs, I asked them, I was like, so what's the deal with this Animal Kingdom one? Like, why, why, what's happening there? Because it's never, it's it's significantly less popular. It's the one that most of the staff don't want to work at. They want to work at the Disney Springs one. And I'm like, so what's the deal with it? And they're like, well, it's so great because you don't have to have a park ticket to go in because half of it's outside. And I'm like, who is going to drive to the Animal Kingdom parking lot to go into Rainforest Cafe, like that doesn't make any sense. They might as well just put the whole thing inside. I, I, I mean, please, like, let me know if anyone has ever just showed up and like walked in to not have to also have a ticket into Animal Kingdom or something. Because you could go to the one at Disney Springs, and what you were saying with Yak and Yeti, it is much harder to get a reservation at Yak and Yeti. But if you have a Landry's card, you don't need a reservation because you don't have to have an advanced dining reservation. You can just use your Landry's card and you skip the line anyway. You're ahead of the people who made reservations six months ago. Yeah, so, Landry's card is awesome. It is. Well, you know me. I'm not a fan. Yeah, I'm not a fan like of Landry's anyways. restaurants in general. I'm not. Um, but, you know, what's funny is that we were out in Disneyland Paris back in October, Sean mm -hmm. and I. And we were having a hard time finding good food. Yeah. Um, in the park or out. We were having a hard Disney time Paris finding good, wrong, yeah. good food. So we ended up in a rainforest cafe for lunch one day. And I gotta be honest, it was fantastic. Well, I was Googling. I was like looking up what are the best restaurants out there. It's called Disney Village is their Disney Springs. And, you know, I was Googling what's the top couple of places. And number one consistently was Rainforest Cafe wow. that everybody would put. And so I kept telling Pete and he's like, I'm not going there. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. So we were like looking at different places. And finally he was like, OK, and even then we ate at a different restaurant. Well, I was so yeah, at that, that point, night, I was so hungry. I was like seeing dead relatives. Right. So I, I needed. Yeah. So it was another day. And we were just like, we've been several days here without good food and their food was good that was the best rainforest cafe meal i've ever had also for for me to not like it we oh, that's also the first place we ate at tokyo disney as well that's right so when we arrived we also ate at that one so it was the only thing open it was the only thing open so we i've tried a lot we've it. literally been around the world with rainforest cafe so <laughs> so yeah so um now though that that you know though that was the the absolute bottom two. Yeah. Now it gets a little more interesting. Uh, third on the list, Tiffins, sixty nine votes for Tiffins, um, and I think Tiffins is a great restaurant. Certainly better than Yak and Yeti, although you don't agree. Um, that I, I I thought Tiffins was an amazing uh, was an amazing. Uh, 
uh, addition to Animal Kingdom. Um, haven't been there a little bit. I know there's been some back and forth. There's been some. It's been kind of inconsistent lately. But you know, I'm including Nomad Lounge in with this, which also has some really great, you know, tapas options and drinks and stuff like that. So overall, I you know, this Tiffins is the restaurant that consistently I get the as far as the people who took the chance to go do it, that I get the most negative feedback about Um, because it does cost two table service credits. I highly advise people when I'm talking to them to not use two of their table service credits here, but they go ahead and do it anyway. And they always come back and they're like, we wish we wouldn't have done that. I, and it's always the same thing. People say the portion sizes are too small for the money they paid that's Hmm. how people feel about it. That's the feedback I always get from people is the food was very good, but there wasn't enough of it. I left hungry. So. Wow. No, I haven't been yet. Um, So, but I want to, but, but here's the deal. When I look at all my options, it just seems like, well, I, I know I'm going to love mm-hmm. Yak and Yeti. I know yeah. I'm going to love... Right now, my go-to in Animal Kingdom is Satule Canteen. Oh, yeah. Like, hands down. Yeah. Um, but when gauging Tiffin's against other things that mm-hmm. I know are winner, winner chicken dinner, and maybe this one won't be, I just I steer toward that direction. It, it's hard to risk a signature dining whenever you don't... No, when it is something that's inconsistent because the signature dining restaurants are supposed to be the top restaurants and they're supposed to be hit it right every Absolutely. single time. And when you're spending that much money per person, it's got to be right every time. And mm-hmm. Tiffin's is one that I tell people, usually if they say we want a, a special dinner or we want a two table service credit, it's one that's not even in my brain at all to recommend to people. So, mm-hmm. cause I just don't, I don't think it has as high marks as a lot of other two table service restaurants. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the same boat as Denny. I look at the menu and I see it and I'm like, you know what? The pasta lie at Rainforest Cafe is 25 bucks. I'm on my way over right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, second on the list, Yak and Yeti. Why? Oh. I think it's terrible. So, think- I've never had a good meal there. Never once have I gone in there and said, wow, this is good. I go, this is disgusting and it's overpriced. And what the hell are people talking about? So when I think Yak and Yeti, and I'm not. Comparing- See, when I think Yak and Yeti, I think Yak. Yeah. Well, I look at it and I think of like a Cheesecake Factory menu. You go to the Cheesecake Factory and it's like, you're going to make everybody here happy. I'd be okay with that. If it was as good as Cheesecake yeah. Factory, and but it's not. I don't think it's as good as Cheesecake Factory either. However, and I and I went there a number of times ordering um, some of the Chinese food, Asian inspired dishes, and I was like, yeah, this is just okay. This is fine. Um, Haley loves it, but it wasn't until I landed on some of the options like their chicken tikka masala that I was like, oh boy, this is a winner. I can't wait to come back. Um, and it is it is a rather large menu with a ton of things to choose from. It's kind of a difficult choice to make. I found most times dining there, but uh, I think it just it's just about finding that right that right menu item for you. Our family loves Yak and Yeti. We've never had a bad meal there, so I'm the complete opposite of, of your experience. Um, we've even just gone by for dessert. So the the fried um, cream cheese wontons, amazing amazingly good and uh, I love being a, a little bit of a just a Disney history nerd or geek I like knowing the backstories to everything and there's such an intricate backstory to Yak and Yeti it's ridiculous and you can find that on the web really easily if you want to know what it is well I'm just but I'm just it's... I'm just sad they didn't put as much effort into their menu as they did their backstory yeah well we love it well, so. I I like Yak and Yeti um, I've always consistently liked my meals there it's never been like a must do for me but i do like it um i think the issue that animal kingdom park as a whole runs into is the same thing we talked about last week with epcot in the morocco pavilion it's not everyone's kind of food in general so even like wonderful restaurants like tusker house or tiffin's or whatever and then like pizza fari is not very great and you know so people who are looking for a tiny step into the 
you know, Asian inspired meals or whatever can get that here without having to leap as far as restaurants like Boma over at the Animal Kingdom Lodge and stuff. Cause it, or even Tusker House because it's just too big of a jump for them that like my kids aren't going to like that or whatever like i want to take my kids somewhere that they're going to like their meal and it's just a really consistent place for that well topping the list no surprise here although i'm surprised how close it was Mm -hmm. with the akinetti but tusker house Mm -hmm. at number one that took uh 90 votes versus 82 for the akinetti um this i fully get on board i think it's Mm -hmm. the best character meal on property yep um, I think it's the second best buffet on property after Boma at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Um, so this I get completely. This I'm on board mm-hmm. with. This she got right. This yeah, she got right. This is mm-hmm. a, an amazing, um, just an amazing buffet. Um, if you are wanting a little something that might be different than what you're used to, because there are African flavors and spices that are featured on the buffet. You can kind of t- dip your toe in the water and um, and have some of those flavors and get used to those. Now, your kids also, they have a kids buffet area. So you, your kids are going to have the mac and cheese and the little uh, corn dog nuggets that they're used to and that they love. Um, but they can also try other things as well. The spread is huge. I love the environment. I have taken countless pictures pictures inside of that restaurant it's Mm -hmm. so detailed and stunning it is um it is some of the best character interaction i would put uh topolino's terrace uh in character meal before uh, tusker house but we've had great character interaction here in the past love 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 it yeah Mm -hmm. yeah it's actually been ages since i've been to tusker house but over like the recent year um like going to Jico and boma and sanaa uh, African inspired juices have become some of my favorite, so I gotta get back there. And the comments on the uh, this boards, like people were just ranting and raving about Tusker House. So I'm like, okay, okay, it's time to go. I'm yeah, I mean, it really is. I mean, there's a reason it's so popular, and you know, good for them that they have kept it. They've kept the quality up. They've mm-hmm. kept the character interaction up. Um, yeah, it's one of those restaurants where parents don't have to choose between having their kids have that that great character experience. And them eating good food that you don't have to make the choice between those two things. Yeah. And I mean, Tusker House is somewhere that consistently my clients are like, we want Tusker House. That's become like the La Cellier of like Animal Kingdom over there. They need that because the character interaction in the buffet and how good it is. And it's something where the, the menu is more eclectic sounding than what people typically are used to. I'm not necessarily the most adventurous eater in the world. But it's enough. I mean, it's still a theme park. So, like, when somebody when it says spicy or if it says this, it they still are trying to give this mass appeal. So, there is something that you can find to eat in this Absolutely. restaurant. Yep, yeah, I agree. All right. Well, there you have it. That's uh, your votes for best restaurants at Disney's Animal Kingdom. And that will do it for this episode of the Disney Dining Show. We hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you again next week.